Good morning, everybody. It is 8 a.m. Steven is getting his Hi. breakfast made. What are you having for breakfast? What I have every day, a bagel. He's having a bagel. I am cooking down some spinach just because I don't want it to go to waste. So just wilting some spinach for my breakfast. And then I also heated up the two eggs that I had left over. Um, I'm actually gonna do 10 more seconds on those. And I'm just gonna throw them in a bowl with some sriracha. I just don't want to waste anything, so. All right, I'm gonna throw a little salt and pepper on this, let this finish wilting, throw the eggs on top, and we're good to go. If you wanna know how my day is going, it's going wonderfully. I'm wearing what I wore yesterday because I washed it, walked into the laundry room, took it out of the dryer, put it back on. So far, I've eaten breakfast, laid around, read a little bit, and now I am making lunch. And I'm actually just doing um, a really quick and easy lunch based off of yesterday's lunch, but I'm just doing a different variation, so let me show you what I'm doing. I have a salad of greens, and I put a quarter of an avocado on it. I'm going to top it with the barbecue chickpeas from yesterday, a little bit of cheese, and then this organic avocado ranch dressing. And that is lunch today. So I just finished my workout. It was like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, 15 minutes of that was spent um, stretching. And I did it outside, and even though it was 32 degrees, I got a sweat on. I burned like 630 calories. It just felt so good. Um, and then I came inside and was like answering some comments, all that stuff. And we need to talk for a minute. Um, on day one, I misspoke and I said something around like um, having the blessing of not having children. If you have never used the wrong word, then you are a better person than I. What I meant was I was writing in my planner I think and I had time for like a bath and for reading and for like just self-care what I meant was I have like the unique circumstance or the blessing of time um, to be able to embed those things because I know for so many of you who are mothers single mothers um, parents of any kind um, and if you've watched my channel you know that I think parenting and being a mom is like the toughest, most challenging, um, sometimes the most unnoticed job. And I made a wrong word choice. Uh, and if you can't grant someone the grace to say the wrong word, then go somewhere else <laughs> and find content. Uh, because anyone who knows me knows that I literally think it's the toughest job. If you watched the second day vlog, all I talk about when I think about Danielle is like, the amazingness she has to like balance it all and do it all so well because one of the reasons I've chose not to have a child is because I know I couldn't do that. Um, I think it would be very hard for me to balance it all and I think it's it takes the strongest most amazing incredible people to be parents um, and that's one of the reasons Stephen and I have rolled it out for ourselves because we don't think we could do that with our work and um, the lifestyle that we live um, which is a very honest response but people got so nasty about it um thinking that like i was looking down on like parent i i don't know what they actually were thinking and honestly if that was my intention behind it do you really think i would post it i was just like kind of irritated because it's now like it came up a couple times but i think for all those who know my heart who've watched this channel i shout out moms and parents all the time because it is literally the hardest job. Um, and I think I have the blessing of time, um, the blessing of less people relying on me. In my home it is me, Steven, and the dog. So I'm able to like make time, keep my house clean. That's the other thing I always say, like people will say like, do you have a house cleaner? Like how do you keep your house so clean? I would say like, I don't have, like we don't have children messing it up. Like 
for a parent to keep a house clean, and I know this goes for so many of you, you guys literally spend hours a day just picking up after people. Um, and you're amazing. <laughs> uh, so if you took offense to it, you should know my heart, uh, and you have probably seen enough videos, but I have utmost respect, and I think in the times that we live in now, I have even more respect for all parents because what you guys are having to do, you're the teacher, you're the doctor, you are literally everything right now to your children um, because you have to stay home. Um, I couldn't do it. I know that. I couldn't do it. And I do understand that like some of you can't find time even a minute for yourself. Danielle and I had this conversation yesterday. I said, you just have to find time. You have to find some time for yourself or you will literally go crazy and you will be no good to anyone because I don't know how you're all doing it right now. Um, so wanted, I, I'm mad that I even have to explain that. Um, but I think for all of you who know me, you know what I meant. Um, but we're gonna move on. I'm not gonna talk about it again, I'm over it. Um, and if you can't get over it, there are thousands upon thousands of other channels to watch. I, this is the first time in three years I've ever had to like respond to something like this. And now it's done. Um, all right, so I had a really great workout. Steven took Bubba's for a nice walk. It was 32 degrees, but just being out in the sun felt so, so good. Um, but I'm gonna get showered, I'm gonna make some lunch. Uh, I did nothing yesterday, so I need to do something more productive today. Um, a lot of people have been talking about, oh, a documentary on Netflix called Tiger, Tiger something, I marked it. Um, have any have any of you watched it? Let me know down below if it's good. Also, put all your binge watching things down below in the comments for everyone because in this time we all need something to watch. So put all your binge worthy shows, shows that you're really watching. Just so you know, I love documentaries. I love true crime. That's really it. <laughs> um, if you do have a really good scripted series, um, please, please put it down below. But I'm definitely like a suspense thriller type person. Um, but if you have a good comedy or something, go ahead and name that too. All right, going to get showered, going to shave, going to get all sorts of clean. I am showered and shaved and it is now going on two o'clock and I have not eaten lunch. So I'm going to go figure out something to eat. Of all the food we have in the house right now, what sounded really good was a crunchy peanut butter and honey sandwich and an apple. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. Some days you just want to keep oh, it safe. I was eating lunch and my sister introduced me to the Marco Polo app. And my sister, mom and I were all kind of like video talking to each other. It's a great way to interact with like some face to face, not just a text. Marco Polo app, really cool, loved it. Um, the icon has like a little beach ball. There you can see it. I woke up from an app a little bit ago and then sat down just to do some planning for the rest of the week. And um, yeah, so I am in, let me flip you around. I am in my golden coil planner. You guys know that I've been filling out like each day in the evening. Um, so I did put in a couple like important calls, but I'm doing like this really cool blue sticker theme. So this is like my week um, Lee spread and it goes from 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. Little to-do list at the bottom. It also gives you a little self-care test. So this one is do some creative writing, but that is the weekly spread. And then the next is my wellness spread. So it's like awake and energy and vitamins and water and mood and exercise what time you slept. Um, and yeah, I just went with these blue stickers. The stickers I've been using are these two packs that I bought a long time ago from Bando and I really, really love them. So yeah, just went through and planned out tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually like a really big work day. I have a couple calls, a lot of meetings to prep and yeah, so tomorrow will be super busy. Um, oh. It's so sunny out and beautiful. I actually think I'm going to just wrap up this vlog. I don't actually think there's like a ton of footage, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe this taping every day is not gonna work because I don't know how we'll make it work. But um, 
feel really good. Today was a good day. It really like working out, out outside was so helpful just to be in the sun and the fresh air. Even though it was cold, it was still so worth it. And yeah, it's been pretty, oh, I know what I wanna tell you. So I read three books this week, which I'm actually really proud of that. Three books, I guess it was like a little over a week because I think I started, anyway, I read three books within like the last seven to nine days. Um, I read The Mother-in-Law. It was really good. I think I said earlier, I kind of predicted the ending three quarters of the way through, but it was a really good read. It's an easy read, mindless. Wild Game, um, about a mother and daughter's relationship. It's a memoir. I struggled with it, getting into it. It was really beautifully written. Um, it was fine. I liked it, I didn't love it. Then, I just today finished Untamed by Glennon Doyle. It's phenomenal. Best book I've read of 2020 so far, probably 2019, 2020, I really loved it. I loved her, um, like I loved her voice throughout the book. I've read Love Warrior before, but I just loved her writing style throughout this. It's a super vulnerable book. It's really awesome. I love how she paired her um, journey with this tiger um, that she saw at a zoo. It was like a very interesting connection. I just loved it. It was so good. I encourage everyone to read this. I think it's a really, really powerful book. And the cover is beautiful, but I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Next book on the list is probably either Separation Anxiety or, um, was it Work in Progress? I don't know, it's like another memoir of like a woman's health journey. This is like driving me crazy that I cut myself there. All right, friends, tonight, Stephen and I are having organic uncured turkey hot dogs for dinner. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to like use everything in like a very thoughtful manner. Um, so I wanna have those while we still have hamburger um, hot dog buns that we can use. So we're gonna have those for dinner. Um, Steven will have buns, I probably won't, but I'm probably gonna start a new book. We're gonna chill. Oh, 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 I started watching Tiger King on Netflix. I got through halfway through the first episode. It's not my thing. Um, so I quickly turned it off and read instead. Um, but maybe a lot of you will really love it. Uh, it just, I don't know, I just didn't love it. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what will be pretty much this. All right, I love you all. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>